It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Beat media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Good evening and a very hearty welcome to uh, another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. This is a show designed to keep you updated on what's going on in local TV, radio, and film. You know, this is an interesting time of the year when it comes to TV and the holidays. I always look forward to watching programs like a Charlie Brown Christmas or Polar Express, but I prefer to see them after Christmas, after Thanksgiving. Commercials with Christmas themes began at the start of November. I kind of understand that as everybody's bracing for Black Friday. What I don't understand is how a local radio station can switch over to all Christmas music this early. That's exactly what Soft Rock 98.9 has done, declaring itself the Valley's official Christmas station. To that, I say, bah humbug. There should be a rule. No Christmas music until after Thanksgiving. All right, it's time to get back to more serious topics, and I'll do that after this message. Hello, welcome to Alberto's restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud. Salud. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, I want to get uh, directly to tonight's guest because... Uh, my guest, John Malice, has a lot to talk about now. Malice is a well-known veteran newsman who worked at KNPH for several years before starting an online show called Straight Talk with John Malice. And most recently, Malice hosted Connect With Me that uh, originated from a studio at the uh, Ventura TV Video Plant Center on Ventura Avenue. But that show has come to an end after five and a half years. John's going to give us an update on what's going on. John. Uh, Rick. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Good How to are see you? you. Sorry, it's under these circumstances. No, that's okay. But let's 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 fold things back a little bit before we get Go to ahead. the elephant in the room and talk <laughs> a little bit about you. Absolutely. Uh, I, I I I don't don't think I ever heard the story of how you got to to Fresno. What brought you here? Um, that was back in 1996, mm -hmm. uh, August of '96. I was working in Sacramento at the Harry Pappas owned station. Um, I forgot the call. I think it was KMAX. Uh, they had canceled their 9 o'clock news, and I was looking for a gig, and Harry called me um, and asked me if I wanted to be the main anchor at KMPH, Monday through Friday, because John Soderman, remember John yeah, Soderman? Yeah, yeah. Long-time anchor here. Went to, I think he went to Denver, now he's in San Diego, I believe. Hmm. So I, I came to Fresno on a trial basis. I, didn't, I really didn't plan to stay here, and I liked the job. I liked the station. Uh, got got along with the owner, got along with the news director, and uh, the rest is kind of history. I stayed, and 
Now I've been here, what, 21 years? Wow. That's... Yeah, so that's kind of the story of how I got here. Yeah, you eclipsed me by three years. <laughs> I've had, yeah. I have 18 years under my belt okay. here. Okay. All right. After the KMPH year ended, you did some you did some work online, but then the the uh, the show with Ventura came up. How did that all come about? Well, um, after I left Camp KMPH, um, I was kind of lingering. My, my daughter got sick. You remember that? I remember that. Okay, so I was home full time taking care of her for a couple of years, and uh, a job came up as uh, a full time editor of the Sanger Herald. And so I was there for two years in Sanger. Mm -hmm. uh, I was editor of the Metro um, Entertainment section and the sports section. So I did that for two years. And then after that, um, I was kind of looking around more for, for television rather than newspaper, although I enjoyed it. There were long hours, I, as you know. You've been mm -hmm. in newspaper all your life. Sure. Um, so I got a call from Gary Cacola, and he asked me, you know, from Cacola Broadcasting, wanting to know if I'd want to be the host of a, a brand new talk show because hmm. he had gotten together with Mark Shear and the owner of Ventura TV. Right. They, you know, they created this uh, show called Connect With Me, part of the Me TV network, mm -hmm. uh, a national network out of Chicago. And so I interviewed for the job. Hmm. I interviewed with both Gary and Mark. Uh, right. We went to lunch uh, and I was hired. That's how that came about. And then, you know, five and a half years of, of you know, running the show booking guests, uh, conducting interviews, doing the research. It all came to an end last week, Yeah, or about a week and a half ago. What amazes me over that five and a half years is that you were a one-man show. I, having only done this, this is my 12th week of doing this, I realized <laughs> what a grind it is to find a guest and you know get your copy together and do, your, you know, do all the researching you need to do. You did this on a daily basis. How right. the heck did you line up that many guests? I, I, I'm still staggered by it. Well, quite frankly, I'm staggered by it, too. But I had my regulars as well. And this is a copy just of this year, 2017, of a hard copy calendar that I kept. I didn't keep anything on my phone because I didn't trust it in case my phone blew up. And I do have an yeah. iPhone. But you never know. I mean, this is you know, this well, is like starting in January. And then you go to February. Well, wait, wait, it's wait, kind wait. of the same. Go ahead. I can see it, but that doesn't do it. Go ahead. Show it to the camera. Just yeah. give, give yeah, me an just, idea. It's just a glimpse of, of just the dates, right. the names, the cell numbers of the guests, the emails, uh, but I did have my regulars like Becky Cinema, uh, Dennis Hart, uh, you were going to be a regular at one time, no. uh, I had Peter Nazaridian, he was my um, resident family therapist, there were others, I had a terrorism expert, uh, I had experts on education, and then I had my media experts, um, I had you, I had my movie critic, I mm -hmm. had Becky, that was, mm -hmm. that was you as well. But media people that, that, that were on a, on a regular basis, obviously I mentioned Dennis Hart, uh, most recently Alex Delgado, Tommy Tran, um, who else here? Uh, I can't even think. So but, I had regulars, but I also interviewed people in the community that were high profile, low profile, and some people that you'd never heard of but have very interesting, unique stories. And yeah. it was it was a human interest story. And that's what was so unique about the show. And the other unique thing is that we had call-ins. It was a live call-in right. show. So if you wanted to talk to the mayor, I'm sure that you could call City Hall a uh, hundred times in a day and you'd never get Lee Brand on the phone. But if you called him on my show, you could talk to him directly and say, hey, my garbage didn't get picked up on <laughs> Tuesday. What happened? Yeah. Yeah, so you became a conduit to the community for right. all sorts of topics. That was, I think, maybe the thing right. that, that helped you was you weren't just, you know, this show was focused on TV and film and radio and that Correct. sort of thing. You had a lot of things to look at. But no matter, for, after all that long hard work, and I know how much hard work it you, is. You, just, because you've been doing get, it for 12 weeks. Yeah, and, and I just, I, again, I'm just amazed at what you were able What's to do. What's a full-time job? Oh, it's more, it's more than that. It really, yeah. and, and again, because you know how guests come and go. They, right. You, you plan things and things go back. But anyway. Uh, it, it ceremoniously, unceremoniously came to an end, and I want to talk about that. But before we get into that, I need to take a break. So yeah. we're going to take a break for just a moment. We'll be right back with John Malice. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs and personalities call today a place for mom you know your family we know senior living 
Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1 800 245 0490. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Rotosweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Rotosweep for just $19.99. The original Rotosweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Rotosweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing savings, call Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Nice Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. Nice easy it's easier than this, or this, or even this. <laughs> For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. <laughs> Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. Well, welcome back. Tonight's guest tonight is John Malos, longtime veteran, a newscaster in this market, uh, who has uh, just recently had his show uh, on MeTV come to an end. And John, now we're going to talk about that. Yeah, go ahead. Ask what, me anything you want. What happened? I mean, I feel like that was the wasn't that the uh, the Jay Leno question to to Hugh Grant? Yeah. What what, what, you, what happened? What happened? <laughs> oh my God! That's what shot Jay Leno's ratings uh, yeah. through the roof. Remember I, that? What I, happened? My ratings will probably go from one to two people. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. In in simple terms, um, uh, a week and a half ago, Wednesday, I had done my last show, and I I did my show uh, very proudly. So on the Sikh community, I had some Sikhs come in, and they talked about you know the we uh, we are Sikhs campaign. Yeah. That you see all yeah. over the place. I had two Sikhs come in from Visalia, and they were talking about their culture, their religion, their families, where they came from. Immediately after that show was uh, broadcast live um, on Comcast at 11.15, my boss, Todd Lopez, came to me and said, the show's canceled. We can no longer afford to put that show on the air Wow! after five and a half years. Uh, prior to that, though, they were having some money issues. And I'm going to just be very honest about it. They were having money issues. They almost lost their Me TV affiliation. Mm. Um, I don't know all the details of that because I'm not on the inside, but I know that they almost lost their Me TV affiliation. The other factor is, is that because of that, because of the financial problems that, that Ventura Broadcasting is having, mm -hmm. uh, they put my show on hiatus uh, in August. Uh, when Todd came in to take over, he was supposed to turn the company around financially. Right. And in the process, had cut, 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 and then he started taking things away from me, little by little, like mm -hmm. video. Uh, I didn't have access to an editor. I had to do things myself. And then he wanted to limit the video that I put on the air, like four per, per show. Uh, there were other instances where he came to me and said, I want the show to be more Pollyannish, mm. a more of a Pollyanna the, type show. What is, you know, well, you know what a po you right, know, Pollyanna you, you, means, like, you know. Fluff. Kind of fluff. It's basically fluff. Yeah, it's powder puff right. stuff. Well, I did have some powder puff stuff, right. but I mixed it in with hard stuff. Heaven knows you had me on. That was about as soft as you could get. I mean, I, right. I, you know, I never talked to heavy issues. So. Right, but I but I covered, fr it was one from one side of town to the other. Right. Uh, it, it covered all bases. Uh, the, the spectrum was covered. Uh, from hardcore news, and I'm a hardcore news man. That's my yeah, background. I'm sure. a newsman. 
Um, I covered uh, current events. I covered movies. I covered the media. I covered uh, community events, religion. We talked about sports. We talked about Fresno State, high school sports. So it covered the gamut. Right. And there was, you know, Alex Delgado, who's a good, who I consider her a good acquaintance, right. a good friend. She has a similar show, but it's a completely different type of show. He, he, I think he wanted me to have a show kind of like hers. He wanted it softer. Yeah. Well, we can speculate on what he wanted. That, that, right. You know, that's that's their point. I'm going to focus. Well, more, I'm just. More, I'm just. I'm I know. Just saying but I'm going to focus. Told me. I'm going to focus directly on you right now yeah. because you have reached that crossroads now. Correct. You could just say that's it. I've done five and a half years of this grind through this talk <laughs> show, and I'm done with it. Right. I don't get the feeling that in your heart you're ready to make that statement. Are you? Look, I'm. I'm 62. I'm not dead. <laughs> You know, I want to get up in the morning and look forward to something and have right. something to do. Make you know, I want to feel like I'm making a statement, contributing to, uh, to the community, that I'm 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 making an impact, and that I'm still in the game. Right. You want to be in the game. Yeah. Uh, at least I do, and that's that's what I mean. Whether it has a large impact or not, whether it's seen by a lot of people or not, as long as I can make an impact, on, I'll give you one example. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peter Nazaridian, who was a, a, a family therapist, has been for almost 30 years, worked in a mental hospital. One day I had him on, we were talking about um, uh, depression and drugs, um, Prozac and, and the other drugs that, that people take. A woman called in and said that she was suicidal, on the verge of suicide. And considering it was a live show, he, she was on the phone. Yeah. He talked her out of it, as far as we know. Right. We don't know who she was, but she felt better. You know, I felt so good about that. Right. I don't know if she, I hope, I pray that she's still alive. Right. But that's the kind of impact but, that the show had. Right. And, and again, if you impact one person, right. you're, you're, you've done your day's work. Exactly. So what would be the ideal situation now? Would you like to, to take what you were doing, you know, for, for five and a half years and do it again somewhere else? Or? Absolutely. I'd love to do another talk show, a one-hour talk show. And I'm looking into some other possibilities here in Fresno. Hopefully, uh, we'll get the financial backing, maybe some advertising, and maybe, maybe who knows, might, might be able to do it uh, right here at Coca-Cola Broadcasting. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know that, but but uh, hoping for the best, keeping my fingers Somehow crossed. Somehow I have a feeling if you don't land one of these things, you're going to be at the mall at, <laughs> at 10 o'clock every weekday going, uh, you, you there, sir, come on over here and sit down and tell me your story. <laughs> yeah. And you get, get some you know, kids who come around, you'll, you, they'll hear your story, and you'll, you'll make that impact. You'll still keep doing it. So, well, listen, I, am, uh, I always enjoyed your show. You did a great job again, having seen it a little bit from what I'm doing. It's like a one millionth of what you were doing, yeah. I realized the hard work you did. And I'm sorry that it ended that way. I'm sorry that you weren't given the chance to sort of, you know, take that final bow. So this is your chance. If you want to say something to those to those viewers. No, I, I just want to say, you know, all those folks that watch the show on a daily basis for five and a half years, and it took time to build up a very loyal audience, thank you, because those are the people that really made the show. And to the guests that kept their commitment. I'd say 90% of the guests kept their commitments, maybe 95%. Mm. I didn't have that many cancellations in no. five and a half years. And uh, the fact of the matter is, like one very wise person who works here at Coca-Cola Television uh, once told me, out of something bad always comes something good. Yeah. So that's why I try to look at it. I have a feeling something good will happen. So, hey, listen, thanks again for being a guest. I really appreciate it, and uh, hopefully I can update people later on about what's going on with you. I hope so. And, Rick, you're a professional, and I miss your stuff at the B, and you, uh, you're a good guy. Thank you. Thank you. All right, got to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. 
The original Rotosweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Rotosweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better, and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV Channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. Over the last few few weeks, I've been uh, looking at the rather lackluster programs for the 2017-2018 season on the networks. It's now time to take a look at NBC. Now, the network launched only three, maybe two, depending on how you look at it, new shows, The Brave, Law & Order, True Crime, The Menendez Murders, and Will and & Grace. That's the half one I'm talking about. What started as a small way to voice opinion about the recent presidential election turned into the catalyst for bringing back one of NBC's most successful comedy series, In Will and Grace. The series stars Deborah Messing, Eric McCormick again, Megan Mullally's back, and so is Sean Hayes. They reunited a year ago after a decade to create a short video where their Will and Grace characters took, uh, took sides on the subject of Donald Trump, uh, be, him being the Republican candidate for the White House. The more than 7.7 .7 million views the short film got on YouTube caught the attention of the Hollywood uh, community and NBC has had made them an unprecedented move of bringing back the show. And that's worked as Will and Grace is the best new show on NBC this fall. Then there's The Brave, a mundane action series that follows an elite military team that travels around the world saving the day. Uh, Captain Adam Dalton, who's played by Mike Vogel, and his special ops squad of undercover specialists carry out each mission on the ground in countries at all parts of the corner of the world. The cast also includes Natasha Karam, Demetrius Gross, Noah Miles, Hadi Tabal, and Anne Heche, who is a well-known celebrity in Fresno. Let's take a look now at the scene from The Brave. Ops, Rivera. Okay, got it. Patricia's on her way in. She wants us to meet her in the vault in 15. That is a Russian drone. It's the Falcon UAV, capable of flying from Moscow to Dallas and back with a later time of 36 hours. Haven't we been briefed on the Falcon? Not this one. This one's dubbed the Mark 10. It has stealth capabilities beyond anything we have ever seen. Such as? Such as two days ago, one flew over the United States and no one even noticed. Nor I was able to piece together the flight path after the fact. It seems like the drone did a circle route, so it came across the Bering Straits here, skirted down the coast of Canada, into Washington, where it flew over the Hanford Nuclear Reservation. Purely for sightseeing purposes, I'm sure. At which point it headed east into Montana, did a 180, flew right back the way it came. Son of a bitch flew right over my house. Top. How is it possible for anything to fly over the U.S. undetected? Engineers at DARPA believe the drone has a special ceramic mesh skin. We've got similar materials in development at Skunk Works, but nothing this good. Suffice to say, if they can put it on a drone, they can put it on a bomber. I take a DIA is sharing this intel with us out of the kindness of their heart. 45 minutes ago, the NSA intercepted an urgent cable. Seems a Falcon like this one that did a flight over China crash landed on its way home to Mother Russia. Okay, The Brave is just one of several new series on the fall schedule dealing with the military. That also includes the CW's Valor and CBS's SEAL Team. That doesn't help it stand out. And finally, there's the law and order true crime, The Menendez Murders. It's the latest in the never-ending law and order franchise. This limited edition run looks at the real case of the Menendez brothers who were 
found guilty of killing their parents. The real-life angle is not that different as the plots of the Law & Order shows often came directly from headlines. So, okay, that's it for NBC. Next week, I'll wrap up the fall look with Fox and the CW. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Prager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Hello, welcome to Alberto's Restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's, you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare, and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's, we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salud. Salud. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, K-J-O-I, with Fresno's all-time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. The news. Great memories. KJOY, K-J-O-I, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1 and on the web at KJOI.org. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better. And nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today. A Place for Mom. You know your family. We know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Well, that's this week's show. Before I close, I, I want to take a moment to mention that Phil Meyer, the general manager at Valley Public Television, and a previous guest on this show, has resigned from the position due to what's being called family obligations. I'll let you know when a replacement has been named. All right, I want to give a, a very special thanks to John Malice for stopping by uh, to chat about the fate of his TV series. I hope to, uh, there's a new series in John's future. I'd also like to thank you for joining in. Your support is uh, greatly appreciated, and whether you've seen this show for the first time or, as I've said in the past, every episode so far. still need you to spread the word that uh, the TV Beat with Rick Bentley is being broadcast on KGMC Channel 43.5. Check out my website of www.rickbentleytvbeat.com for other details about the show. You've heard this. It's very important to hear from you. To contact me, just send an email to rb at rickbentleytvbeat.com. So until, until next week, happy TV viewing. I hope you tune in again. See you next week. Mm -hmm.